Greetings sports fans, this is the Redonator. And I have got Mini Redonator and Mummy Redonator in the bedroom feeling a little bit poorly. Mummy Redonator had to go into hospital because she had a blood clot in her uterus and I just realised how serious that is, especially after caesarean and she's been overdoing it um, a bit poorly. And so is poor little Pixie. Little Pixie struggling to breathe at the moment. She's got a blocked up nose. I even got as far as to, was gonna suck the snot out of her nose. That sounds really disgusting. But when you've got a little one really struggling, you'll do, if you're a dad, you'll probably do the same thing. Right, so what can I do to help other than sucking snot out of noses? I can prepare really healthy antioxidants and drinks because I know all about my vitamins, so let's go. Now, this might seem very daunting, but as an athlete, I've taken all sorts of pills and potions. I'm all about healthy, natural vitamins now. So the go-to supplements, I take a B vitamin every day. So there's two there, one for mummy, one for daddy. And as mummy is breastfeeding, um, what mummy takes, baby gets as well. Vitamin D3, we hear a lot about that, but I've been taking that for years. Great for testosterone, great for everything. Super antioxidant, great seed, another fabulous antioxidant. Vitamin E, these are without fail the supplements I would take every day. Coenzyme Q10, fabulous again for mummy. And now B propolis, I don't take that very often, but that's good when you run down. It's like, it works like a natural, it's from bees, it's part of the, um, the bee, well, I don't know what to call it, hive. And it's brilliant antioxidant, and it's almost, it works like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, antibiotic. Now, extra supplements that I don't take. Uh, Fengric is great if you're suffering with low testosterone, boys, but also for girls, it's good for breastfeeding. It encourages breast milk. Um, cranberry, if you've got a bit of urinary infection. And, and this is one supplement, peppermint. I've always taken peppermint tea if I've got indigestion. Now, Nicola's been taking all sorts of drugs and they've, they've caused all sorts of indigestion. This is brilliant. Now, the last supplement I would take every day without fail, so magnesium and some vitamin C. Fabulous, high strength, real great products. We've got to have some healthy water. I've got uh, filtered water here. I normally use Kangen water because that's uh, really high echelon, brilliant, super duper water. But there you go, guys. And if you want extras, collagen is really good, a healthy oil, MSM for bad joints. So there you have it. I do my best to have a really healthy diet so I don't have to take all these supplements. I'd much rather have my nutrients and minerals and vitamins from healthy food and drink. But Today's food is so highly processed, there's so many GMOs, there's so much pesticides, all that sort of stuff, which is killing us. So I, I, I unfortunately have to rely to look as young and healthy and wonderful as I do, and I'm always getting bashed, so it, good nutrition help, helps me recover. I rely on supplements, but the best supplement ever, forget all that, Mini Anastasia Pixie Reed, Mini Reedinator, She's got the best supplement in the world. Human milk, human baby milk with colostrum. Colostrum, do you know what? I used to take supplements called colostrum. It's, uh, it's what's produced by women when they are pregnant. It's, the, it's like liquid gold for babies. And athletes take it as well. You know, think, people might think it's sick to drink breast milk, human breast milk, but isn't it more sick to drink a, another animal's breast milk, a cow or a goat? Think about it. So I'm not gonna steal this because baby Pixie need this, needs this. But if I could, this is the stuff I would be on. Lucky Pixie.